In this video, you will learn to identify the most acidic or basic atom within a single molecule. First, we need to explicitly draw all the potentially acidic protons. I've explicitly drawn out a proton on an sp2 hybridized carbon and a proton on an sp3 hybridized carbon. There is a proton on oxygen and a proton on nitrogen. These are the main types of protons present in this molecule. We can use method 1 or method 2 to identify the most acidic proton. To use the pKa method, method 1, we look up the pKa value of each functional group in a pKa table. What is the pKa value of each of the indicated protons? The pKa value of an alkyl proton is best approximated using propane's pKa value of about 51. Similarly for an alkene type proton, the one on the phenyl ring, has a pKa value of approximately 50. The hydroxyl proton's pKa value is 16 or 17, and the amine has a value of about 38. You should refer back to the video on estimating pKa values if this is not easy for you to do. Remember the lower the pKa value, the stronger the acid. Analogously, the higher the pKa value, the weaker the acid. We can conclude that the hydroxyl proton is the most acidic and the alkyl proton is the least acidic. We can also use method 1 to determine the most basic atom in a molecule. To do so, we protonate each of the basic atoms in turn, draw each of the conjugate acids, then find the pKa value of each acidic proton. The pKa value of the phenoxide's conjugate acid is 10. What is the pKa value of their carboxylate's conjugate acid? First, draw the conjugate acid, then find the value in the table. It's approximately 5. Remember that the stronger the base, the weaker its conjugate acid, and vice versa. The phenol is the weaker acid of the two, meaning that phenoxide is the stronger base. If we introduced an acid into a solution with this dianion, the phenoxide would be protonated first. Alternatively, we could use method 2 to determine the most acidic proton. To do so, we start by drawing each of the conjugate bases. Now compare the conjugate bases. We focus on the location of the negative charge and how that negative charge is stabilized in each base. When comparing the atoms, we first need to consider which of the factors is most important to compare. Oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon are in the same row of the periodic table. Across a row, electronegativity is the most important factor affecting stability. Oxygen is the most electronegative of the three, so it can best stabilize the negative charge, making it the weakest base. Carbon is the least electronegative of the three, so it is the worst at stabilizing the negative charge, making it the most unstable, or the strongest base. The stronger the acid, the weaker its conjugate base, and vice versa. Because the weakest base is the alkoxide, the hydroxyl proton is the most acidic in this group. Notice that we came to the same conclusion using the pKa method, and we should. Otherwise, we would know that we had made a mistake somewhere. To use method 2 to determine the most basic atom in a molecule, you can directly compare the basic atoms instead of drawing the conjugates first. In summary, in this video you learned to identify the most acidic or basic atom within a single molecule using method 1 and method 2.